Welcome back. I'm Miraj, and we are going to build up your skills with number patterns. First, let's talk about counting by fives. The yellow highlighted portions on the number chart show the pattern of counting by fives. If we start at the number 15 and continue the pattern, it will look like this. 20, 25, 30, 35. Next up, we have 10 more and 10 less. When we want to determine which numbers are 10 more or 10 less than another number, we can use a hundreds chart to help us. On the hundreds chart, as you move from one row to the next, you are counting by tens. This is helpful because we can see which numbers are 10 less by looking up one row and 10 more by looking down one row. Let's look at the number 56. Which number is 10 less than 56? Let's look one row up. Boom. The number 46 is 10 less than the number 56. What about 10 more? Let's look one row down. We land on the number 66. Super work. Sometimes we also need to know 100 more and 100 less. We can use a similar chart. You might notice that this chart counts by tens instead of ones. This means that as you move up and down a row, we are counting up by 100 or down by 100. Let's look at the number 340. If we want to know which number is 100 less, we can look one row up. We landed on 240. If we want to know which number is 100 more, we can look one row down. We land on 440. Did you notice that the hundreds place changes by one digit when we are going 100 more or 100 less? Super job, super kids. Have fun practicing.